Hey guys, welcome to RhinoTutorial.com. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to edit curves within Rhino. To do this, I'm going to move into the top view because curves are by nature 2D and 1 dimensional. You can do it in a perspective mode, but just to help you explain this, we're going to work in the top view. I'm going to show you how to draw curves. Simply click the polyline or type in polyline and go ahead and enjoy yourself a curve. Press enter or right click. Once you finish, we have our curve. And now I'm going to show you how to split the curve. What split means is, well I'll show you what split means. We're going to draw a line through our original polyline. So now we have two. And I want to split this line where this one intersects it. So to do that, I'm going to type in split and enter and follow the instructions. Select objects to split. This is the object I like to split. To confirm it, press enter or right click. And then it says select cutting objects. This is my cutting object. And I select enter to confirm. And now you can see my original long polyline has now been split into two. To join them back together, I simply select them both using shift to select more than one object. And I could type in join. And it says two curves join into one open curve. So now my curve has been brought back together. Now to show you what trim means, trim is the same as split except you delete one of the lines depending on which side you want it to be deleted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it and I'm going to get rid of the shorter side. So I'm going to type in trim and follow the instructions. Select cutting objects. This is my, whoop, my bad. Trim. It says select cutting objects. So this is the cutting object. Confirm. Select object to trim. There we go. It's that simple. And enter to finish it. And now you can see I've trimmed it. I've gotten rid of the upper part of the polyline. Now, how to edit it further, what you can do, I showed you how to join, and I will show you how to explode curves. So here we have essentially three lines together in one. To explode them into three separate lines, I'm going to type in explode. And now you can see the lines have been split into three separate lines. To join them back together, simply select them all and type in join. And now we have one curve. Now to extrude a curve, simply we're gonna have to go back into a different view. In perspective view, we're gonna select the curve, type in extrude, and now we can pull it up in the Z axis as high as we want, or we can go in reverse so we just leave it as it is, like this. Now now we've created a surface, and you can explode this surface as well. We're going to type in explode, and now you can see the surfaces are all separate. But the curve is still intact. That's because we had the surfaces selected when we typed in explode. And I'm going to show you how to extrude a solid. To extrude a solid your curves have to be closed. So I'm going to just draw a wobbly little feature. And now that the curve is a closed curve, when I extrude, I can simply extrude it and we have surfaces created. Or if I would like to create a solid object, I select the curve, type in extrude, and in the options in command, in the command line, I go to cap and I click yes. And this will cap all of the edges. Now you can see it is a solid object at the bottom and at the top. And this concludes the editing curves tutorial. Thank you for watching our Rhino tutorial. Hey guys, welcome to RhinoTutorial.com. 
in this website we're going to in this website damn it